I'm Anil Kumar. We'll look into rational expressions in some formulas. We have two questions here which will be discussed. The first one is, for a cube of edge length x, find the ratio of the volume to the surface area. So let's sketch a cube. All equal sides. All equal sides. A cube is a three-dimensional figure, as you know, right? That's an easy view to sketch. There you go. Okay. Just to ensure that these are all equal sides, we can do like this. It doesn't make sense to you, right? Okay. Just mark in all. Doesn't make sense to you. Okay. Even this 90 degrees. So we are taking every care to do it. <coughs> oh, fine. Now, for a cube of edge length x, that means each side is x units, right? So this is x, this is x, and this is x. Perfect. Find the ratio of volume to surface area. Now what is the volume of this? So what we want to find ratio of volume, so volume over surface area. Let me write surface area. We are looking into a cube. Let me make a cube kind of like this. Okay. So in such question, you should know the formulas right without that it cannot be done what is the volume of a cube so volume of the cube is area of the base times height all sides are equal x square times x so the volume is x cube okay how about the surface area so when we talk about surface area we actually looking into uh, six surfaces right so let me calculate surface area on the side and then we'll write here and simplify okay surface area is like all surfaces you see they have same area so we have six surfaces okay each of area how much x square x square is the area of each right so front x times x sides x times x bottom and top x times x right so each surface area is x square we have six of these so surface area is six times x square does it make sense to you so even if you don't know the formula you can work it out is it okay right and now we have written it in rational expression form we have to simplify so when you simplify you know the number is 1 over 6 and as far as the x's go two of these x's can cancel so let me show you the step here x cube really means x times x times x this means 6 times x times x so when we cancel we kind of normally do like like this you know we are left with x but really speaking each x gets cancelled one by one and you're left with x over 6. Do you see that? And we get our result as x over 6. So that becomes the ratio of volume to surface area. Now some of you who are more into this may also look into units. Volume is unit cube, right? This is in unit cube. Surface area is in, I mean, unit square so the units will be so many units when i say units if i say centimeter it'll be centimeter meter meter right so uh, that gives you the units also so for some students that may be very critical right not for all okay the second question here is for a sphere of radius r find the ratio of volume to the surface area now, in this video, I'm not going to derive the formula. However, I'll give you the formula and you get the result. So, we have a sphere. So, so a sphere, let's say, let's say here, okay. okay. This looks like a circle. Oh, my God. Okay, so let, let me make it three-dimensional. Okay, now it looks like a sphere, right? And it has a radius, let's say, R. Now for this sphere, we have to find ratio of volume. So what is the volume of sphere? 
volume is sphere is 4 by 3 pi r cube and what is the surface area surface area let me write okay let me write s a for surface area is 4 pi r square that is the surface area now you can pause the video find the ratio of volume to surface area once these formulas are given to you right now it becomes simpler so the idea is to practice and understand how to work with rational expressions when formulas are given so let's rewrite so we want to find ratio of volume to surface area for a sphere which is so let me write down this 4 by 3 pi r cube divided by sometimes very complicated let me write like this 4 pi r square okay that really means we are doing 4 by 3 pi r cube times 1 over this when we say divide it means multiply by its reciprocal 4 pi r square does it make sense to you all right i could have written layers that is to say i could have written like this is it okay you could do this also and then simplify but that's an alternate way of looking at it i thought it important to show you this portion right it becomes simpler we avoid multi layers of fraction that's that's the idea so 4 gets cancelled with 4 pi gets cancelled with pi r square as i have shown you here with x is two of them gets cancelled one remains so what do you get in the numerator you get r and in the denominator you get 3 so you get r over 3 one third of radius this is what you get and the units again will be just units right just units is it okay is good idea to think in terms of units if I say R centimeters then this ratio will have a unit right which will be centimeters so what you also learn here that when we are talking about rational expressions you may have units so note units may be required whenever you're working with ratios in rational expressions units may be required to be placed right so that's very important to understand i'm anil kumar and i hope this concept is very clear uh, let's move on and see some more questions on this feel free to post your suggestions and subscribe to my videos thank you and all the best